Tonight, Newport City Council will be asking for more money to study the iconic and damaged cliff walk. As we told you last night, the storm just before Christmas did even more damage to the walk. A section has been closed since last March when part of it collapsed. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us now live outside Newport City Hall with how much in funding is going to be asked for. Well, Mike Shannon, the City Council tonight will discuss approving an additional $64,000 in funding for a broadened study of those now two damaged spots on the Newport Cliff Walk. And if approved, that additional funding would bring the total cost of this study to $218,000. A spokesperson for the city said this new damage is from last month's big storm on December 23rd, and it's believed massive waves are to blame. It's an area by Narragansett Avenue and 40 steps, only about 200 yards from last year's damage. Tom Shevlin, communications director for the city, tells us the armor stone on the engineered slope of the cliff walk was disturbed by the storm, but there was no damage to the path itself. It's actually a part of the section that is already closed off from the damage last March, so an additional detour is not needed. Now, a four-minute detour is already in place around those spots, but the cliff walk brings in millions of tourism dollars to the city, and the CEO of Discover Newport tells us investment in preserving this landmark is needed. Unlike a lighthouse that you can pick up and move back someplace, there's not a lot of room and wiggle room here along the cliff walk. So that there has to be professional research done here to figure out how they can fortify the most vulnerable points. So we're going to have to plan for a future that's going to be more harsh. It's going to be wetter. And I'm not a professional engineer, but I know those engineers will do the best they can. Engineering firm GZA Geoenvironmental Inc. is conducting that study on the damaged portions of the cliff walk, and that is where this additional funding will go. They will put together a design repair plan. Then the city has to move forward with actually figuring out, figuring out how to make those repairs. Again, this ask for funding will go before the city council tonight at 6:30. We will be inside the meeting, and I'll have the latest for you tonight, starting at 10 on Fox Providence. Live in Newport tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.